Hello and welcome to Stop Ross Maths key skill video on interpreting an inequality represented on a number line. So we have this number line here in terms of x and we've got these sort of dots, maybe field dots or not field dots and arrows. So what's going on here? Now let's first think what an inequality means. So if we had, for example, x is greater or equal to 10, say, that means is greater or equal to and that basically says that x can be any number which is equal to 10 or greater than 10. So therefore, x, for example, could be, I don't know, 11. It could be 10 itself. It could be, I don't know, 17.46. It can be any number that is either greater than 10 or equal to 10. Now, we could represent that on a number line. Because what we could do, if we took this number line up to, say, 10, we could say that x could be equal to 10, and what we do is we'd put a dot on the 10, or it can be any number greater than the 10, and we'd actually do an arrow going up, and that's basically saying that x can be any value greater than it. So let's apply this same principle to a, b, and c here. Well, there's a dot on the 3 for this a line, so it's saying that x could be 3, but it could also be any number greater than 3, and therefore the inequality it represents is x is greater or equal to 3. What about the second one? Now for b, there's a circle again on 1, but this time the circle is not filled, it's unfilled. And what that's indicating is that x can't actually be that value itself. So we don't include... So we don't include that value itself. However, we can see there's an arrow pointing left, which means that x can be any value less than 1, but it can't be 1 itself because we've got an open circle there. So x is less than 1, but not equal to 1. And finally, let's look at c. We've got a line between minus 1 and 4. So that's suggesting that x can be any value between minus 1 and 4. Now, there's a filled circle there, so x can be minus 1. The fact it's filled indicates you want to include it. But this is an open circle, it's not filled, so we don't want to include the 4. And here's how we write it. We could say that x is less than 4, but not including 4. But it's also greater or equal to minus 1. So x could be equal to minus 1, or x can be greater than minus 1. And when we have this sort of like betweeny type thing on the number line, then we typically write it in this form here.